So in my previous video, we have looked at the sum of the interior angles of triangles and quadrilaterals. Yeah? And for this video, we are going to have a look at the sum of the interior angles for any polygon. Okay? But just to, to go back, what did we do in the previous video? Yeah? And make sure to check my site, explainingmaths.com, where you find all my resources, uh, for free by the way, and uh, nicely organized. In my previous video, I have this triangle, yeah, and the interior angles, that's yeah, so the angles on the inside. Um, I said, well, if I cut those angles out, yeah, let's take that midsection away, and if I then connect the three angles, then I should get a straight line, because also on a straight line, in one of the videos we noticed, yeah, which is half a turn, it is 180 degrees. And indeed, if I connect those three angles, 180 degrees, there we go, yeah? So that is a triangle. But how many, or what is the sum of the interior angles for an octagon, yeah, or for a pentagon, yeah? And that's something we're gonna find out now. So I created this sheet, and uh, already for the triangle, I said the sum of the interior angles adds up to, or is 180 degrees. And I have a quadrilateral, a pentagon, a hexagon, and a heptagon. Um, I quickly sketch it, okay? So I know the ink is everywhere, I apologize for that, but I have to use those markers, otherwise you can't see. Now, for the quadrilateral, also in my previous video, I showed you, or I asked the question, how many triangles can we create out of uh, a quadrilateral, yeah? And then we said, well, two, yeah? So if one triangle is 180 degrees, then two of those triangles will be two times 180 degrees, which is 360 degrees, yeah? So any or every quadrilateral, the sum of the interior angles equals 360 degrees. Now let's look at a pentagon, yeah? A five-sided polygon. Again, how many triangles can we create? Now, this is one. And this is another line. Yeah, so I should say, by the way, this is, or I should say, this is one triangle, two triangles, and here, for the pentagon, we have three triangles, okay? So, the pentagon, the sum of the interior angles, adds up to three times 180 degrees, which is 300 to 40, 540 degrees, okay? Let's go to the hexagon. How many triangles can I create? Now that is one, and two, and another line. So, one, two, three, four triangles, as you can see. So what is the sum of the interior angles for um, a hexagon? It's gonna be four times 180. Yeah, which is 400 plus 320, which is 720 degrees. So for any hexagon, it will have 720 degrees <coughs> to divide over its six angles. Now, the heptagon, I'll do it relatively quickly. One, two, three, four of those lines. So that's one, two, three, four, five triangles, okay? So the heptagon will have five times 180 degrees to divide, which is 500, that's, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm coughing, 900 degrees. Okay, now, maybe you see some sort of pattern here. For a three-sided figure, I have one times 180. For a four-sided figure, I have two times 180. For a five-sided figure, three times 180. Six-sided, four times 180. Seven-sided figure, five times 180. What is the pattern here, guys? Does anybody see it? is every times the amount of sides take away two times 180 degrees, yeah? Every time the amount of sides, but then two less triangles I can create. Every time I can create two triangles less than the amount of sides of the polygon, yeah? Now, coming up with a general formula, we can then say um, the amount of sides, the amount of sides of the polygon minus two, yeah, because every time it's two less triangles, and a triangle has 180 degrees, so all of that times 180 degrees. That will be the sum of the interior angles. Yeah? So for, for a heptagon, seven sides, so seven minus two is five, times 180 degrees, so 900 degrees, yeah? For a decagon, 10 sides, it's gonna be 10 minus two, eight 
times 180 degrees, yeah? Now, we are mathematicians, yeah? We're not doing English here, so am I going to write down every time the amount of sides of the polygon minus two times 180? No. We write down n minus two times 180 degrees, where n stands for the amount of sides of the polygon, yeah? And that is the formula you'll find in your textbook. But formulas, I mean, a monkey can, can learn a formula, yeah? But we can understand the formula. It's nothing to be scared of. It makes sense. Okay. So like and share this video if it was useful. Yeah, that would be very uh, appreciated by me. Yeah, so thank you for that. And check my site, explainingmaths.com, where you'll find all my resources nicely organized for free. I'll see you at the um, next video where we have some example questions about this. Bye-bye.